This video is brought to you by Ace of Twelve Productions. Please subscribe to my channel and don't forget to enjoy the videos. Also, please try and comment and rate the videos. Thank you. Hey guys, Ace here, and welcome to C++ tutorial number eight. Um, what I wanted to do in this tutorial doesn't seem to be working at the moment for some reason, so uh, I'm going to review that, but for the moment we're going to do the uh, third most common type of loop, um, and it's probably the most used type of loop in programming. It's, ex whoops, it's extremely useful, uh, and it comes in in a lot of algorithms and stuff. Um, and it can be used in lots of ways, in fact. Um, you'd be surprised. But anyway, let's get into the code now. Uh, here it is. So basically, uh, the setup of this loop... Uh, well, before I talk about that... Whoops, did it again. Uh, this loop is actually called a for loop. The previous two were called while loops and do while loops. And this is called a for loop. Um, no idea why it's called for, but um, yeah, I don't really know. It doesn't really make sense, but whatever, you know, uh, as long as it works. So you just got to type the keyword for, then these two parentheses, and inside the parentheses we can actually have three things. It's a, it's a very um, cool loop to use, actually. What we can do is we can, um, the first thing we, ca we can do is we can create a variable, or we can use a variable from outside the loop, uh, but we can initialize that. We can give it a value. We don't have, sorry, we, we don't have to initialize. We can redefine or redefine that variable. Um, so, yeah, basically, you can create a variable and initialize that variable here, or you can use an outside variable and either initialize it if it hasn't been initialized before. Or you can re uh, redefine the variable in this area. Then you've got to put the semicolon, and then you can have your condition. Okay, so we've covered that. I'm not going to cover that in more detail. And then we we have what uh, what I've decided to call a uh, free action. Um, and this is generally where people choose to uh, increment the variable they've either created or used here, and which is used in their condition. Okay. And um, and then we have these two curly braces and inside the code to be executed. Uh, you probably don't understand this for uh, too much at the moment, but let's move on to my uh, example here. That we've only got one example for this tutorial. Um, basically, what we're doing here is we're typing the keywords for, of course, the two parentheses, and then here we're creating a variable. Okay, so we're typing var i equals zero. Okay, so we're creating and initializing it and then the semicolon of course and now we're typing our condition while i is not equal to 10 uh, and then the semicolon again and i plus plus so to read this out properly uh, create the variable i and while i is not equal to 10 increment i by 1 okay that's basically what it does and um, you may be thinking well how is this ever going to come in handy it comes in handy a lot of the time, and we'll uh, we don't see it very much in the um, in the simple programs, but it does come in in a lot of more advanced programs. Okay, uh, and of course inside the loop we're just outputting the value of i and then a line break. So if we just save this file, save. I've already saved it, so it's grayed out. Um, open up our browser, find the file. Here it is drag and drop it in the browser and here you can see 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 and 9 okay we don't have 10 because um, um, wh when it increments it to 10 it checks the condition and it says hey wait a minute this condition is now false break out of the loop okay uh, like a while loop okay so um, it it's quite hard to understand. I I find it pretty simple. Some people may find it simple as well. Actually, I think it's one of those things that is either really easy to understand or it's quite a bit more difficult to understand. Um, if you have any questions, though, uh, leave a comment or PM me as usual. Anyways, uh, this has just been a quick ASIP 12 tutorial. Over and out.